The Neuroscience Journal Club is really a unique opportunity for high school students um, to engage with the world-class research that is happening here at Stanford. And the purpose is to excite uh, young students early in their academic journey to consider a career in the neurosciences, academic medicine, um, clinical neurology, clinical neurosurgery. Uh, we really want to show the, our students how amazing it is to be a physician and um, to embark in novel therapeutic research, um, clinical trials, basic science here at Stanford. It's a low pressure environment to come together, um, work with, alongside other high school students from other schools, meet other students who are passionate like themselves about science and just learn, learn and become exposed to various different careers to consider in their future. Um, and so they learn about the process of reading a new um, scientific journal article how to present it effectively and do it in a way that they don't have to feel the pressure of earning a grade in the end um, and it, hopefully have fun in the process too. Well, before I went into the club, I was really interested in pursuing a career in STEM, I, but I think I kind of didn't know a ton about um, neuroscience. I was kind of like, I definitely wanted to do something in neuroscience, but I only knew a small facet of it. So I was like, I want to do this when I'm older, just this facet. And now after being in the club, I, I've been opened up to like a ton of different facets of neuroscience. And I think, I definitely think a field in STEM is more attainable after seeing so doctors from so many different backgrounds become um, neuroscientists and neurosurgeons. Um, it's, I feel like it's definitely good because a lot of like doctor representation doesn't always include um, my identity so I think getting to talk to these doctors from many different backgrounds has helped me in that front and also um, I now know there are so many more new opportunities like career opportunities in STEM that I previously wasn't aware of and I think that's been um, it's definitely made a career in STEM more attainable and more interesting to me. I feel like I've grown a lot since joining the Stanford Neuroscience Journal Club I think one obvious like change in my skill set has been being able to like read and understand scientific articles and scientific journals. But I feel also that I've become more confident speaking up in rooms where I may be one of the younger members or I may not be like one of the most qualified members and just really like trusting my own voice and my own experiences. So before Journal Club, I was really kind of grappling between like, I really had no idea what I wanted to do. Um, I was kind of pulling myself, um, do I want to go STEM, do I want to go social science, do I want to go humanities? So I was really kind of grappling between that, but I think since being in Journal Club, I've realized that I really do love like learning about like the, about like the brain about the body about like just in general like biology in general and so I think that has really encouraged me to go push myself further into the STEM field and um, as a senior as as I'm applying to colleges I've actually chosen to go I'm applying for public health majors which um, although it's not fully STEM it definitely still has the components of a STEM major and I do plan on taking a lot of STEM classes and I think um, that kind of it, like being part of Journal Club has really lit a fire under me to really want to continue on working in the STEM field. I mean, I think it's daunting to look at a journal and think, oh, I can read that. I mean, when you're in your teens, right? Um, I think it's even daunting when you're older to look at a journal sitting at your desk and saying, I should read that or what have you. And I think what, we, what we're trying to accomplish is um, to sort of extend that love of learning into um, the sciences as well. That that sort of joy when you read something and understand it and, and can actually use it in a way that's meaningful. Um, and so we want the children, the kids, whatever you want to call them, to know that when you pick up a journal and you read it, that it's, it's accessible, it's understandable, it's meaningful, and that research has a place, um, and that they are, you know, this is open to them. And then our ultimate goal is to have them contribute to that. Um, so we've been working on the side to um, have many of the members of the Journal Club participate in creating their own research project. Um, and, you know, we're, we're really trying to, to 
to make sure that science is real for them and alive and exciting. And, and if we can spark that in their teen years, we're hoping that this is a lifelong endeavor for them and to create more neuroscientists, be they neurosurgeons, neurologists, researchers, or what have you. Um, that's our ultimate goal, to strengthen that pipeline. And we're also excited that many of the students um, in our journal club are still girls, even though it is, uh, um, uh, we don't discriminate by gender. Um, we have a lot of girls, we have a lot of girls of color, we have a lot of boys of color, and it's exciting to see um, how we're shaping, hopefully, the future of the neurosciences with this uh, endeavor.